You know, you can go to war in many different ways. You can go to war <laughs> literally to the front line, or you can go to war in an interview. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> it's, um, it is a very different show. Um, but, you know, six, at 60 Minutes, I do a lot of this kind of stuff, too. I'm halfway through a profile with, uh, with Aerosmith, for example. And so, um, for me, the journalism is what's at the heart of it all. It doesn't really matter whether you're talking to Warren Buffett or George Clooney or you're interviewing a, a captain on the front line. Um, that, that basic curiosity, that wanting to know who somebody is, wanting them to tell you something interesting about themselves, wanting to learn something from them, that doesn't change for me. That's what the job is really about. So I don't care if I'm in the White House or I'm in the CBS studio or I'm, you know, clinging to the side of a mountain in Afghanistan. Um, at the core, it's the journalism that matters, and, and that's the same wherever you are. Well, this is a new version of a show with a lot of history, started by Edward R. Murrow. Yeah. Is that uh, a little intimidating? Those are big shoes to fill. Yes. <laughs> Those are enormous shoes to fill. You can't walk down the halls of CBS News without being reminded of Murrow's legacy and who he was. It was very intimidating, but at the same time, too, it's the only kind of talk show that I think I could have done, because I'm not really interested in having Lara Logan show. You know, that's not me at all. Um, something that has the integrity of Murrow and the history of it, that's something that um, someone like Charlie Rose and I can, we can try to live up to that. Mm -hmm. And um, sure, it's intimidating, but um, neither of us are, are the kind of people to shy away from a challenge, you uh -huh. know? I mean, if you're gonna say to me, I can't do it, I'm gonna tell you, um, well, hell, I might not be able to, but damn, I'm going to die now. <laughs> Just wait. Yeah. The, the premiere episode features a uh, person to person with George Clooney and Warren Buffett. What was that like? Um, George Clooney, of course, is not very good looking, <laughs> not very successful, and. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, he's a real pain in the, you know, <laughs> you know Clooney is, is um, so charming and uh, so down to earth. And also he knows Charlie, so the gloves are off a little bit. You know, you don't have that wall up. Um, you're dealing with someone who wants to do this show. He likes journalists. He respects Edward R. Murrow. He knows about this history. And that meant something to him. So this isn't about promoting his latest movie or something that the studio made him do. This is something he wanted to do. He he said, okay, I'm going to open up my home. This is not a house. It's not a showpiece. It's not like Clooney has 15 homes. Yeah, he's got one on Lake Como. But this is actually where he lives. It's where he spends time with his friends, the people that mean something to him. It's where, can you believe it, he actually had a pet pig. <laughs> and so I had to say to him, you know, as good looking as you are, George, I don't think that I would have shared my bed with a pet pig, <laughs> even if it meant a chance to share it with you. That would definitely put me off. Well, that's what's unique about Person to Person, for those who aren't familiar with the former show, is that you're doing these interviews in people's homes. So are we going to get to see Warren yeah. Buffett's house? No, you're not going to get to see his house, but you get to see which you, the place that you could probably call his home because it's inside his office. And by all accounts, that's where Warren Buffett spends most of his time. In fact, he told us that his wife won't let him put a bed in there because she's afraid <laughs> she'll never see him. You know, And that doesn't surprise you one bit. I mean, Warren Buffett is a man who probably could have retired 50 years ago and, and still keeps going to work because it's what he loves. Well, we're looking forward to the premiere and debate. Best of luck to you and Charlie, and here's to many more persons to persons. Thanks, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Good to see you. Thank you very much.